Hi, you guys. This is Allison coming at you from My Space to Craft with some out of this world scrapbook pages. We're going to do a flip through, but today's flip through is really focused on calendar pages. So, what I do is I use um, calendar pages to separate <clears throat> the different chapters or months within my scrapbook. Now, I won't do this forever, but at this time when my daughter was little, I kept a really good um, calendar for each day, and I had all her different activities and my activities, and if I went out dancing or she spent the night at Grandma and Granddad's, all of that was on those calendars. And so it's really easy for me to translate that and write it neatly on these pages, and then that helps me um, figure out the order of the pages that I want um, since I, at this time I'm still doing chronological um, scrapbooking. So um, I started this last fall to do these calendar pages and just finished the last two on my scrapbooking retreat, so I wanted to go through them. When I put together the page kits to create these pages, I had a couple of goals. I really wanted to use old stuff from my um, scrapbook supplies. I have a lot of old creative memory stuff and old stickers and all sorts of stuff. And so I was really determined, let's figure out a way to try and use old, oh, even old borders that I had created in classes and things like that. So I really wanted to try and use some of those older products on these pages. And since this is 2010, it's probably appropriate that 2010 paper is being used on some of these pages. So let's go through and I'll show you um, what I did on some of these pages. If you like what you see, um, hit like and the like button and subscribe to my page, help my, my channel grow. Um, and um, I'll come back at the end to remind you again. So this one is January. I haven't filled in the data yet, but I have that calendar to do. And I ended up, because I had um, two of these sheets of paper and some extra of this beautiful purple that I love, and this I decided to go ahead and make a base page um, with a matching picture. So now I'm going to have to find some pictures that I like from that January to add on this page. Um, my daughter did go ice skating on a cruise during um, during January, and so I'm probably gonna pull some extra of those pictures to put on here. So that will be appropriate. So that is January. And these are all the uh, cr old Creative Memories stickers, Creative Memories paper, super old Creative Memories paper. And then I just drew a grid hand drew this grid um, and cut it out to match the pages. Some, um, and you'll see I do a variety of things um, with these. Sometimes I just cut squares and then place the squares. Sometimes I, I draw this grid like a regular calendar page. So that's some of the fun of making these calendar pages. So here's February and again an old uh, Creative Memories uh, Valentine's paper kit. In this, I uh, used my um, Cricut to cut the title and some of the sticker sheets that went along, uh, stickers that went along with that um, old uh, paper kit. And this even has, I, there's some calendar stickers that Creative Memories had, so I included those here. You may not be able to see it, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then I had uh, used a die cut um, of some stitched hearts to make all of the, um, the days and just used a variety of the paper pack for those. So relatively simple. It took a little time to run 31 times through my die cutting machine, but it was not a problem. And you can see here, um, that we have her dance class, her swim class, um, a play date with a friend, 
all sorts of different stuff. So that's what all of the, the pages will look for look like. And really, I have room if I have a cute little photo, I will include a cute face, uh, you know, close-up photo of her there. Or if I have a, a small, I can print a small one and put here. So I can embellish these if I don't choose to do a whole um, fake matching page. But this gives me a little more flexibility for it to go anywhere in the book. Not anywhere, but whether it's a facing page or a starting page. This was March. I decided to do something different. I had never done this before and do the calendar as just a strip note. Um, it gave me room to do some different stuff. Um, and I used stamps to do the numbers. They're a tiny bit big, but I don't mind how it came out. And then I had a spring um, sticker pack from also from Creative Memories. Um, this is Creative Memories paper and Creative Memories cardstock. So it came out really cute. They had some layered stickers. Um, so just, I didn't have anything on the, on the first, so putting a sticker up there worked. So that's March. All right, April. Uh, Creative Memories used to sell these um, cut frames and packages of, I think, six. Um, and they're really cute and different shapes. So they they make it fun to use. They're harder to use for a two-page layout unless you cut it and then use it as a frame in the middle or something like that. But I thought this made, was perfect and I loved the bright colors. So um, a Creative Memories paper in the back. So you can see, and I, of course, I am try to keep all my papers. So I did gut this piece. Um, laid this on top, and then I used, um, these are just ovals, they aren't actually egg shapes, but who's going to know? By the time you lay them all out, and I just put them in little pairs and triplets and used different um, scrap pieces of paper, so that was really fun to be able to use a whole bunch of scraps um, to uh, create this page. And I don't think you could fit any more different patterns on a page than this, but it came out pretty cute. And then I had super old um, stickers from Creative Memories with these little tiny eggs and the rabbit. So it came out cute. Um, May, I just completed on this last trip. This is using some Stampin' Up! Uh, paper. Um, and I used um, some new Sizzix, new to me anyway, Sizzix die cuts to create these little flower clusters that I thought were cute, all using um, different papers from that same paper pack. And then the Cricut um, to use the, to cut out the tie, the month and a little um, cute uh, doily back here. So, and then these flowers, I had to cut twice because the first time I cut them, um, they had uh, some stitching in here and I decided I was not gonna spend an hour poking out tiny holes from all of those to make them consistent. So I just sacrificed the paper and recut them. I probably could have gone a tiny bit bigger, but I think it'll be all right. I'll just have to write small for those. So I still have to do the numbers and then the journaling, the, yeah, journaling in those. All right, June, I went super bright. Um, this is a, a summer paperback from Authentique um, that I love. Um, I just love the colors in it. The reds are so vibrant and the turquoise and the green. Um, this I cut on my Cricut. I think it's, um, just beachy maybe is the um, is the font. These were made cut from that authentic um, paper pad, and then these were just scraps of cardstock that I had, and I just tried to mix and match the colors um, to match, and did circles to sort of evoke some of this circles in the background. Now, one thing I didn't do that I might think about is cutting out stamp uh, cutting out some of these and and layering on top to make those bigger may not need it but maybe one here or one here might be cute if i have any more of this paper 
Oh, see, I had cut out some previously from for another project. So maybe I need to pull this back and cut out a few more to stick down here. They do that. All right, July. Love this. Love how it came out. This is from another Stampers Fun Journey or Fun Stampers Journey um, paper pad. Um, that's the through the year, I think, something like that, or seasons. Um, and so it had stuff for, for each month. So I have a pocket shaped die and it's a nested die. So I just picked the one that would fit. Um, again, cut out mostly in blue, added a little white to break it up. And then for July 4th, um, used the nested dies to make it bigger. And then I, I struggled a little bit with trying to get, um, make these, each of these banner pieces different, um, but big enough to hold the letters and still fit and, and, and look good. But I think, so this is a textured paper. This is the same blue as here and then and then backing it. So I think it came out really cute. It's relatively simple, but I do have space here if I wanna do a small photo or tuck a photo back here. May not be necessary, especially if I do a, um, a facing page, but that came out really cute. All right, August. This is um, another uh, paper pad that I bought that I really love. Um, I used the same paper pad for my daughter's 10th grade um, and it had it made it more of a, sort of a denim look, but this is um, this beach pack. So here I found a um, calendar frame on Cricut that I downloaded and cut this frame out. So this is actually textured and then laid it on top of another of the pieces of paper um, to create the calendar. Um, Cricut font for this. And then I just fussy cut all of, oops, that needs to be glued down. Um, fussy cut all of these shells and starfish and shapes from the paper pad from this uh, piece of paper actually. Um, and then this paper pad, this page had this gold already on here. So then I used um, some gold um, liquid dots for that and see the, and the gold in here. So it came out really, really pretty. And I do have plenty of room if I wanted to add a, a photo here or there for August. All right, September. Um, this is all about back to school. Even though we go back to school probably in August, I don't care. Um, but I had this old border from years and years ago that we used, um, that we did in Creative Memories. This is a heart cut in half to make the little seeds. And then these are circles with chunks cut out of them to make the little apple cores, um, some super old paper. And so I went to my Cricut and I found some apples, tried to simplify them, but they had little um, stems in there and just cut out a bazillion apples and then had some old, some apple stickers and some Creative Memories letter stickers. Um, and then I just did the the little tags, I made those separately to make little tiny tags on the um, on the apples and then just drew in the, the string for them. But I thought that came out really, really cute for a September calendar. All right, October, I decided to go and try the list calendar again. And I had another super, super old um, border from Creative Memories that we had made using circle uh, punches and then drawing in the lines. And then this is a leaf punch for the stems. So I had all these things, um, in fact, this whole border sitting around and um, so was able to use it and then combined it um, with some 
coppery gold paper back behind here to liven it up a bit. So it's simple, but it works and it looks like October to me. Now, if you can see, I used that same paper here in November. Um, these scraps were sitting here already cut, um, this ruffled cut like this. And so I wanted to use them up because they were getting so um, bent in my scrap bin. Um, so I really wanted to use them. And I've combined that with some newer um, Echo Park fall paper kit. Um, really love the combination of colors in here with this really dark teal and the, um, the pumpkin orange and then um, the burgundies. So um, had some uh, letter stickers that I found on sale and then fussy cut. The back of this paper is leaves. So fussy cut um, some leaves out of that and then use die cuts for some uh, more textured um, leaves on there. This is from a, a, the a Echo Park Fall um, sticker pack and then added some of these um, sticky brads and enamel dots to close it out. But it came out pretty cute, I think, and really evokes that deep winter look or deep fall look. All right, this is December. Um, this is this paper is from an uh, feels not like Echo Park. It feels like um, Cartabella um, paper pack. And then I had the these are actual these letters are actually color creations from one of their sheets of letters, um, and so just framed those and popped them up. I haven't done the numbers yet. Um, but did a simple rectangle and I just calculate, I should have this written down, but I just calculate how much space I have, how much space I wanna take up and then um, lay these out. And then to lay these out, you can use a T-square ruler to make sure you get them straight. So that's very handy. But you know, if it's not, per like this one's not exactly perfect here, it's not the end of the world. By the time you write on it and have fun, and then I have pick space for a little photo here if I want. And then I just die cut, not die cut, uh, Cricut cut um, these um, presents out of some other Keller Creations paper um, that coordinated. And then I have a die cut for some bows that I added to it. And this, um, so that is an entire year's worth of calendars. And so um, this will really help me um, stay organized and feel like I have. Just doing these made me feel like I had um, a major step towards completing 2010, even though I probably have thousands of pictures that I have to go through and hundreds of scrapbook pages that I need to do. This sort of helped me set the tone. And I got to use up some really old, a few new things, but some also really old things that have been sitting around in my um, hoard, my scrapbooking hoard, um, and not getting used. So um, I would say that was uh, mission accomplished in using up old, old stuff and making some cute pages. If you are interested in doing... Um, uh, calendar pages like this. Just try it. Um, it's not that hard once you get going on it. And so this is, this will be the, I started in 2006 when I was pregnant and I did a few calendar pages then. And, um, and then all of 2007, 2008, 2009. So this is the fourth set of calendar pages that I made and not one looks the same. And there's always plenty of themes that you can do for each month. Um, one might be all flowers. One uh, March could be rainbows. I've done rainbows. It could be shamrocks. You could do all sorts of different things for different months. So try it out, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next Out of This World scrapbooking adventure.